Hey, good evening. Welcome to the Sunday stream. I'm Ricky Kiffer, sketch artist, and with me today, my co-host is Joe Zillow. You know us. We've been around a little while. Hey, he's got a stack of cards that have come in from a mysterious company. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> mail notification. You got mail. <laughs> Yeah. See if we got anybody out there in the chat yet. I don't think we do yet. We got one view out there. Somebody's Trippy's there. Hey, Trippy Rips. Oh, hey. No. hey, good to have Chris out there. Yeah, man. Well, it's been a week. I'm in right in the middle. This is pretty funny, Joe. So you don't usually catch me right in the middle of finishing the set, but I'm like in the twilight hours of finishing up a set to mail off the top. So I gotta I gotta hurry. <laughs> but um I wait so I wait to the very end. Cause I want to spend as much time as I can with the set. You know, I can finish them early and stuff, but, and I have done that once or twice, but I like using every bit of time I have, which also is not super healthy at the end either. So, <laughs> so we'll keep this stream kind of short, short as we can. Hey, cosmic dreams. Hey, and everybody waiting on mail for me. So you get cosmic dreams and trippy and everybody, I got mail going out this week. I'm sorry. I was on vacation week before and it's been crazy. So, I, uh, I was gone right after the last stream. I like left almost immediately after our last stream and stuff. But uh, so mail, mail people waiting on mail for me. It's coming. It's coming for sure. Uh, I've got a stack over here with your name on it. So nice. any rate, man, I, I see you got some bubble wrap there. Looks like you got some uh, yeah. slimy TV, wavy stuff there. What's going on? That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. Actually, I forgot to check the mail yesterday, so I ran out there today and had wave six, so I got four, five, and six. Oh, that's awesome. So the end of it. last time we had our, our stream, we had um I think I didn't have wave three. Like I had I, I was missing wave three, but wave four came. Yes, right. Wave four came before wave three. And I got wave three obviously like the next day or a few days later. And then uh, I have my wave five and wave six allegedly will be here. I thought it'd be here yesterday, but it was gonna be here Monday, it looks like. Uh -huh. So uh, no big deal. I think Wave Six has that uh, Peggy Bundy card in it, which I really like. Yeah, that's such a sick card. I love uh, David Gross's Al Bundy card from the Comic Con. Was it from your right. Comic Con? I think. Yeah, I, th I think so. I could be wrong exactly, but but like I love that card. But I don't have it. <laughs> but um, I can appreciate. it. But I'm excited about getting that set. And I was kind of uh, I marked my bags. I got yeah, I've got them here. We'll go through those. And uh, I got. Uh, I got some more graded cards came in. My Beckett cards that I sent off eons ago. I totally forgot about I didn't forget about them, but I sort of emotionally forgot about them. I let them go. I let them go. So uh, and what's cool is one of the Sapphire yellows I pulled, I think I sent off, Joe. One of the ones that we pulled live on the Sapphire 3 box. Oh, yeah, I okay. sent one of those off because, okay, why not, right? Sure. So we'll give you – I'll give you a look at the, at the Beckett stuff. We'll open them. And uh, I got the SGC and the, a few PSAs over here. Yeah. Including my, uh, my 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 no go one, right? <laughs> That's my slab yeah, one I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, just compare the cases a little quick. But uh, that's pretty much it tonight. And um, I don't know. Next week we'll have some different stuff to open. I think I have some different stuff, and it'll be a different situation. And Joe and I are working on some special stuff too. We're gonna work on it this week offline and, and try to get some things going for you guys. We've been working on it for for a long time, so we got some special stuff. Hope we can get going. But. Uh, and we also, uh, Trippy is out there. So Trippy, uh, eventually we're going to do another uh, sort of trade card stream kind of thing, a trade stream kind of thing. We'll do something a little different with that. And uh, I think we're going to do with the 90s, but we'll announce that before we do it. So we'll people to have a needs list kind of ready and things like that. I'd have to dig around for my 90s cards as well. <laughs> They're just like, you know, probably in the same box I had to dig out the others. But but looking forward to kind of some stuff. And then, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, Trippy. It has been a while, man, I think. Yeah. It'll be worth it. Mm -hmm. Nitus is a low production set. Uh, pretty cool set. I was really happy to be on that one. So it's one of the one of the first ones I worked on. First waves. Yeah. Only oh, need 10. Yeah, Triple needs 10. So I'm sure we can, can make that happen. All right. Well, Joe, um, let's see what you got there. Which I'm going to switch over to my other cam and maybe we can get uh, I can show some of my stuff and show which ones you're going to open there. So you're going to start with wave three or four. Wave four All for right, you, right? This is, this is my wave four. Okay. Okay. But they are warped, man. They're warped. Well, they're thin. They're super thin little you know, tissue paper cards. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nothing. Hey, Patrick, good seeing it there. It's uh, well, you know, they're thin, but you know. Wow. I we know. We knew they were gonna be thin. That's Thanks, crazy. Tops. Thanks, Tops. Okay. There you go. 
my tops manager. I wear this when I'm drawing. See, that's what I do when I draw tops cards. Joe gives me nice. superpowers to stay up late. <laughs> and no, they didn't pay for that shirt. I had to buy that one. So. <laughs> they don't give me any shirts. <laughs> that's crazy. Where, man? Where'd you All find right. that shirt? I found it on, uh, I think, Homage oh, okay. T-shirts. I think they, yeah. it's a baseball shirt, technically. Yeah, but I just like the I like the old school logo. So you already went through Wave Four, no? I went through Wave Four because I think I had Wave Four, and and you didn't have that one. So, um, there's there, yeah, yeah, I did. Uh huh. Yeah. I didn't want this. Let me see. Let me switch over to my main can here. Quick recap. There. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah, uh, at least bend it down. I love it. Yeah. So let me see if I got a wave through here. I'll try to get some stuff out of the way. Here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. So I get I got two of these. These are two wave threes, I think. Let's yeah, see. I just got the one this time around. Yeah. yeah. I would normally get an extra or two, but yeah, I kind of. I'm loving this Python, man. I think this is probably my favorite one. The Monty Python's brilliant. Yeah, it's just <laughs> brilliant. It's just brilliant. I have to say brilliant too. You know, you know, yeah, it's like built in. I have to go. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, too many times. Oh, and too, I got something else. I'll show you later. Maybe some of the time. Look at this thing. See this. Very simple, right? Nothing, no big deal. Mm -hmm. I bought a three D printer so I can print these. Oh, nice! I mean, not just for that because <laughs> they're pretty cheap, but like yeah. for other cool projects and other things. Future, yeah. Future no, stuff. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like oh, yeah. Things. So I was, you know, successfully able to do a few of these. I had some blue filament already loaded, so I did, I did one of each, and then I, did. I keep running. I just uh, finished my slab I slab holder. Yeah, yeah, just a slab, slab holder. Needle. Yeah. So one thing, Patrick, you'll appreciate this. So Patrick helped me at the Philly show last year, last fall. And um, I had these little foldable ones we use for card displays for stuff on shelves. And the things were, if you blew on them, they just fell over. And I had dominoes 54 times. People walk by and they fall over. It was, it, we hated those things. So we vowed that was the one thing I took away is we're going to throw them away. So I, these are to replace those. And I can run these on the side and not worry about them as they self-generate over there. So. But I got some cool, I got some glow in the dark filament too, man. So I'm going to try some of that just on something else, kind of cool. But uh, anyway, that's just me playing around. My wife says it's just a toy, and she's probably right about that. That's cool, though. It's for my son's education. I want him to play with uh, 3D modeling a little bit. So it's really for that. But but I'm going to play with it a lot too. So. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> Why not? there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So wave three for me. Um, wave three. Oh, wave three. Right. Back to wave three. So you just wave four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have to time travel back to wave three, which I forgot. I totally forgot what's in wave wave three. I just to rip the plastic open. Yeah. Be savage with it. How's it going? Everybody chilling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we had our Father's Day last weekend. I thought we could have done one, but I thought, you know, I want to take you away from your family, man. I, I didn't have any plans. Probably should have been doing stuff. All right, I'll get them both open. Here. So it's a Breaking Bad. So th that was a re that was a redo on this character. So you know, I think Mark Mentor had done one already earlier on. Was it a bonus card? Do you remember if <laughs> the first one was a bonus card? Uh, you know what? I want to say it is, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not positive, but it either was a bonus card or a Comic Con set or something like that. I'm kind of drawing a blank. It, it doesn't really matter. I like this one a lot. One of Brent's, so it's uh, <clears throat> yeah, Walter White, the blue. <laughs> so, open one of them and uh, go with them again, see what kind of CPI I got, and I'll pull the CPI at the back of that one. So, are they warped? Not really warped, might not, might not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. let it go. Man, they're thin, man. Good for me, you were just these are bathroom paper, bathroom tissue paper, thin, right? <laughs> <laughs> Breaking Chad. Wendy Walter. X Giles. So they've done this one a few times too. They've done the. Um, uh, Bobby and I were talking about this a while back. Um, they've done this one a couple times, which is fine. This is a cool card. I actually like that. So I don't mind a revisit if it's good. 
you know. So here's the Green Hornet one. Yeah, I remember that one. It's kind of a more retro superhero we don't really talk about from the older one. Bachelor Bob, the Bachelor. Be straightforward one there. The Rigatoni. Okay, this is the one with the Sopranos reference yeah. in it. I remember seeing he was selling the pencils and the roughs and the originals and all that. That's cool. And I got Gene Hornet, sepia. Okay. And let's see. Let's see the sepia on this one. I'm not really interested in going to the sepia sets, but I mean, I'm sure some people are. And I got the beamed up Upton for the sepia on this one. Oh, wow. Check so that. That's kind of cool. Crazy. That looks very good in, in sepia or <clears throat> nearly black and white. It's like a warm gray at best. <laughs> it's not I really mean, sepia. I'm sorry. It's not. It's suitable for the card. But, you know. but it looks really good. Yeah, because that classic sci fi kind of feel, right? Right on. Yeah, I, I dig that. I dig that card. So. And right when Trippy was like, hey, X Files is cool. It is. It is. Next I card is almost nice. started watching it again the other night. <laughs> I was like, oh, that would be amazing. You know, you know, sometimes it's really cool to go back and watch a show that's kind of older like that because you can binge the yeah. whole thing if you wanted to or slow it down. Right. Or, and you've forgotten enough of it, right? Yeah, that's for sure. You just kind of know the general nuances of what happened, but not really. Like, this feels familiar and good, but I don't really know what's going to happen 100%. And, yeah, I'm watching... You know, laugh. My son and I are watching old Star Trek that way. We're watching. He loves Kirk. He loves Bob. I mean, he's hilarious. Nice. But like those shows are. They might be cheesy, but they're really fun to watch. Yeah. Right. Hey, Adam. How's it going? Thanks it's for uh, joining great. in. Yeah, I, I popped on on a stream he was doing over on Dave's auction site the other night. We did like a QVC garbage chute droids stream with a bunch of artists and everybody. Was, it was really a very big community thing. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I got to yeah. watch the replay. For some Did reason, you? I can't get those videos uh, during the lives. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I popped on for uh, 15, 30 minutes and ended up seeing like an hour and a half, I think. I don't know. That's awesome. Right now. Pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, I, I, it's so immense. His his, his offerings on that, that product are just, it's it's so well polished. Yeah. You know, I hate to even call that a fan set because that thing is top tier. I mean, it's I, top, yeah, right. I love the wax packs. I love the artwork. I love the the community and the, and the yeah, artist involvement it was good to be on there with some people who really loved it so it was a lot of it was a lot of fun absolutely yeah and i think adam i i did keep watching adam i had to go but i i kept watching it and in uh it was three and a half hours it was, yeah, it was a long was stream a but stupid. that's not uncommon for live streams i can go that long you know an hour of organizing all this so i bet so i bet yeah you were you were you needed some help <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. I hope you hopefully you had enough back end help to do all that. But it was amazing. I love seeing all the stuff he had available. And, uh, oh, here we go. He got the uh, prime time. This is wave five, right? Do you have wave five? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So we'll do the first one here and see. Let's see if we pull the same CPR though. We're, we're, we're good at this. We're really good at it. We are. We are. <laughs> hey, JQ, good to see you out there in the chat. Yeah, thanks for joining us tonight. Ah. Oh, what? you. Let's see. see. Let's see. Let's see. So I've never watched this show. I know it's uh, like an American soccer coach goes over to England and has a soccer team. Kind of think it's supposed to be a comedy, right? Pretty good. I, you know, what? I'm not really familiar Ten. with this one either. Yeah, it's supposed to be a good. I think it's is it an HBO show, guys, or is it a? I don't know if it's what network it's on. It's it's, it's one of the. It's a premium. It's a premium network show, but it's supposed to be really good. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. This is the one that got me. My wife loves Columbo, so the Columbo card. Fantastic. <laughs> Check him out. That is That's fantastic. really well done, man. Let's, oh, sorry. I grabbed the wrong chat. Apple Plus. Oh, thank you. It's Apple Plus. So, and and I was like, if anyone has a CPU of Monty Python from earlier set, let me know. I may have one. I don't know if I have the B card or not. I think I have the B card, but I'll check. Hit me up on... Uh, Adam missed to message me, so let you know. I don't mind. Uh, Columbo, probably my favorite card right now. I can, I can remember out of this one. Just lose the artwork Hilarious, on that. Dude. That is a solid card. Yeah, man. I'm saying it's really well done. Yeah. Robot Manny. So, did you ever watch um, the series? Robot Manny. Uh, not like religiously. I caught a few episodes now and again. Um, it's a uh, Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol. 
yeah, Doom Patrol was what it was a DC Doom Patrol. It was kind of kind of an awkward one, weird one. The motherfucking uh that <laughs> he's um that dude Brendan Fraser plays him. But he's dead. It and he's uh, me off, man. Like he's... <laughs> Do you think he really was in there? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> he's the whale. No, no, he's <laughs> he's in the mummy too. It's all confusing, isn't it? No, Dude, no. I, I, I love like, season one. Wow. Of this. But yeah, it was season funny. one of this was really trippy, weird. It's kind of fun, but um, yeah, so that's that's an interesting choice there. It's cool. I, I need to watch that whole series though because it, it was funny enough. Like, yeah, I watched the first season. I don't think I've seen much of the second, or maybe didn't watch the second, but or I didn't get to it. But uh, so this is a cool card. Artistically, I really like this one. It's very nice. So I dream of genie, right? Genie, it's one of oh, grosses. Wow. Very cool. That's crazy. Cool I remember that being on TV. Yeah. All time, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very nice artwork on that one. And here's our. So I didn't watch the new Wednesday series, like the Adams Family sort of spinoff with her. I didn't watch. It. I saw like a preview of the first episode, and I just didn't get to it yet. Looked pretty interesting. Really? It was fun. You have to be kind of in that mood for it. <laughs> I mean, it looks funny. Yeah, that's for sure. I got to be kind of in the mood for it, and I, I've been low on time. But yeah, very, right. very nice card. Busy. And then my sepia is red card Ted. I got Genie. You got Genie. Nice. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. We'll see. We still, I got another shot. I can still see. See if I can match you over here. Oh. We'll go through them again. We'll see what's on the back. All right. Going Suffering through the whole series here. Let's see. Oh, Nevermora. Yeah, the colors pop. That's actually a really good card for that. Yeah, right on. Check it out. That's mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I bet the. You know, I'm just thinking about that. I don't, really th I don't remember seeing the CPA cards on the horror sets last year, but I'm sure they look great. Like I don't remember. I don't remember any of them. I just don't. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, Where pretty neat. We? Pretty neat set. All right, so that's series series five. Oh, I have when something bonus here to show. Start with the oh, with the horrible sets. I think they did. In my memory, they do. <laughs> yeah. um, they may have started before another set that I'm not thinking about. They clearly could have, but yeah, let's see. I have one more bag of something here to open. Let's see what it is. I uh, Star Wars really. Since we got Adam here, let's let's open this up. Not sure what this is. I think I know what this is. Yeah, this is what it's not super special, but kind of. So sometimes I grab the Star Wars cards on on tops as well. Just my my kids collecting them, and I grab a couple to throw in the box for them. I've been seeing them. I don't buy everything. Because some of it I don't like, but some of, a lot of it I do, especially the, the limited one week stuff. I do like a lot of that. So I like the rehashing of the old artwork from the cards, from the sports cards. With it, it matches up sometimes really well. So let's see. They do with the living set. They do try to like squeeze out any little character possible on those cards. Like it's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous sometimes. But then again, sometimes they have a main character or even a side character that's really awesome. So you have to keep keep an eye on that. Like they, they will find a bug on the ground that was in one scene for two seconds and like, look, it's a, you know, it's the one-eyed frog from The Mandalorian they'll have on there or some show like that. You know? <laughs> no, 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 no. The Mandalorian. Like, yeah, but where's Baby Yoda? Yeah, you know what there? sucks, dude? I never got to watch any of those shows because they're oh, like... Yeah? Stuck on that Disney app, and I oh. don't have it. Hmm. Oh no, I ripped it. Oh, I only saw it. It's like, oh, Return of the Jedi Obi Wan. So, this is a cool card. So, I think this is, um, I have a couple of these out. I've done a few of them. I think I've got one or two, but I thought this would be a good card to get from him. He's only got one of them in here, but it's a uh, 40th anniversary, like Obi Wan. And get out. Make it nice and for living set. The living is are those the blue border of the living sets? The living set of the blue borders that are like um yeah, they're like cardboardy kind of style. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. wait so long finally to get the uh, R five D four living set. Yep, yeah. You see, and then with that, sometimes though you can actually get them cheaper. People buy them in bulk. They try to get a 
a variant of them or something, or they just buy multiples. You can get, I've seen them cheaper on eBay. And you can buy them off tops. It's pretty funny. So always. Then I've seen the reverse of that too. Like it's not always true, but uh, but anyway, here's the Obi Wan card. I think it'd be kind of cool to have that turn the Jedi Obi Wan. And what's neat though, Joe, I don't know about this one particular, but they do get the, so when you order these, you get a chance for like a variant. It could be a, a stamped variant, blue, gold. It could be like a photo variant. And those are, I've got several photo variants of stuff. So I and, saw uh, that in the description, but I haven't seen any of those cards I've, yet. I've done very well. So I've probably pulled like three or four photo variants and I've been ordering for <clears> a few, few months. And I don't know what, no, does no one like this one? Patrick, is, is there no one likes that one? Well, cool. Very awesome. I only have one. So I should have ordered more. Huh. Give no one one. I do have some other stuff no one would like, though. Definitely. So here's um, I don't I don't remember which ones this. I've ordered several of the throwback sets. Some of them are baseball. Some of them are football. Whatever that week looks good, I grab a couple. And I used to grab multiples, but I recently I've been toning it down. Let's get one. And this one has a soak on the front. Nice. And let's see. So oh, crap. I'm trying to see where the I want to tell you what series this is. So this is 1978 football. This is the Star Wars edition set 18. So this is um, this is the 78 football card stock looking sort of background. I'll get to, I'll get that in a minute. So so Gatano. Looks like it. Luca Skywalker. Luca. Luca. <laughs> Luca Skywalker. X-Wing Starfighter. Oh. Wait, what? Ooh, and it's this. Oh, very cool. It's like a three of five. It's a stamped uh, variant. Whoa. Starfighter. So it's just, I don't know if you can see that. It's like, uh, there it is. Yep. Three of five. Yep. It's got a silver border versus the uh, the white border. I'm not sure. My camera's probably pretty. pretty it's no, you can pretty, see it side by side. It. Yeah. So it's, it's cool. It's the first stamp I've gotten like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Patrick. I'll I'll talk to you about some of the Soka cards and stuff. I got some other stuff. It's pretty cool. Got plenty of dupes of some earlier things. But uh, yeah, these are I dig these. So I definitely a three. So you see that I were only order one. I got a hit. It doesn't seem to improve your odds if you order more because I've ordered five sets of stuff before. That was I really liked or thought I could get a good hit. Maybe you know, and I nothing. Then sometimes I do. Sometimes I just order one or two and I get a hit. So right. And then their their production is only one week. So, I mean, the, the pop count should be kind of low on them in comparison to like a retail set, you know, at least. For sure. Yeah, and cool, the number five. I have no idea what, that's, what that runs on. Uh, you know, that's when you, you know, want to take care of, I guess. So, and it's cool. It's a Starfighter, so you can't go wrong there. And these are just, you know, I like the more classic stuff, but I like Ahsoka Tana. I like the yeah, Rosio Dawson is that one. So, pretty cool. So Mandalorian. Any Mandalorian stuff? or Lucas. 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 <laughs> Luke, he looks like he's really plotting on something right there, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> nah. he's got, uh, he's got to hold it in there. He is. He's, he's holding a room it. full of people who can't right now. Yeah, he's he's talking to Jabba there. He's that's, that's he's talking to Jabba, right? He's like, you will give me my sister back. All right. So that's all the cool stuff I had to open there. I do have yeah. something other interesting to show you. So you remember we've been on our my adventure here in card grading, and um, I sent off cards, a variety of cards to PSA, two batches of them, because uh, they had promo at sale. And then uh, SGC, I sent off some too, and uh, I got a few of those back. You saw I got the 10, the gym at 10 on the, uh, oh, was it the uh, Atom Bomb Super Fractor, uh, X Fractor, <laughs> oh, we got Super, uh, X Fractor. X. Yeah. Yeah. So this is from Beckett. I totally forgot that I messed with them. I sort of sent this off at the same time I sent SGC. So SGC was two weeks. Beckett was like every bit of 65 days. And uh, these are some GPK cards. So I think there's one Marvel card in here. So Let's see what is happening. There we go. They look like in there. So they pack them a little differently. They have some kind of... Most of the other ones were bubble wrapped or something. These were kind of just got paper stuffed in there, which is fine. You know. Oh, these came from uh, Texas too, so they're in, uh, yep. they're in Texas. Yeah, let you they let you drop them off on site if you want to. 
they give you this option during the. Uh, I considered checking it out. I really yeah. did. Uh, it's not far for me. Oh, not? It's not? All, all things considered. I mean. <laughs> uh, let's see. The, this is the backs. Okay, here's the back. All right. So we'll reveal these and let you guys decide what you think these great ass. They come in these little baggies, which is. I'm going to take them out because I want to actually touch the case. I'm really curious about the slabs. Like, how good are the slabs? Let me reduce down my picture size here. I can't. There we go. Better. All right. Better. All right. So, uh, GPK card. Uh, let's see which. Let's see which one this is. I don't want to show this one yet. Let's, that's that's one. <laughs> Well, that's this. So that's the sapphire. This is sapphire we pulled. So that's the sapphire card. Ah. I, just, I don't know what the grade is, but I'm. I don't, I just. I'm looking at the which card it is. Let's just take them out of the baggies first and see. Um. So let's stamp. So this is. It's, I think. I think I sent off a chrome. I forgot what I sent off, Joe. It's been so long, man. Um. The pricing was fair. It wasn't terrible, and they do give you like additional grading on the corners and surface and stuff. So if you're into that, oh, we'll start with this one. How about that? It's a mini. So oh, this, I believe I sent off one of my Atom Bomb UK minis. This is a, a pack fresh pull. So this is one I did a few years ago. A friend of mine, um, UK, sent me some packs and I opened them. So cheater's license. I'll uh, cover up the grade kind of. see see what you think of that. Atom Bomb sits a little right. Yeah, a little off center. A little off center. A little bottom. Bottom yeah. right. Might be something right there in the card. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Uh, I it think good, so. Good remember, this was like my my final throw at stuff, and I'd sent my best stuff off. I thought already, or stuff I was going to send off. So JQ is uh, guessing an eight. Fair, fair guess. Yeah, Trippy's saying nine. I like Trippy's numbers. <laughs> I hope I hope it's a nine. Um, oh, look at that. At least at least it's not trimmed. <laughs> Maybe. 8.5. So Joe's got 8.5. Trippy's got 9, and, and I got an 8. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 drum roll. 8.5. Hey. Joe, what you doing, man? So look at here. So you get graded on the centering, which was an 8. Edges are a 9. Corners are a 9. And the surface is an 8.5. Man, I got no time. Maybe that's why it takes so long to get the cards back, because um, – <laughs> You know, we're spending extra time on it. The guy with the little, and he's yeah, like, maybe so with the little monocle. But I, I had no status updates. I know when they got the cards, and I knew when they shipped them. That's all I could tell you. I knew nothing in between. There's no status. There's no updates. There's nothing. You just they're like, we got your cards. Tough. <laughs> so eight five. All right. So that's near mint. All right. I guess that's fair. I think that sure. thing on the front kind of freaks me out more because now I'm looking at it. But this was packed fresh, man. I didn't. Get this out of anybody else. It wasn't on the top with the gum or anything. It was in the back. Little baby. <laughs> it's a baby, Adam. Yeah. 8.5. 8. So so the case is nice. It's thick. Let me show you a comparison. Let's, uh, let's pull the... Here's a Spider-Man. Oh, I love this car. Look at this thing. Beautiful. And um, compare the, the S, SGC... No, I'm sorry. The PSA to it. So substantial difference, and I've heard that these are the best. These are the, like the best That's cases crazy. as far as thickness and stuff. Yeah. They're nice. Um, the tank, they're kind of a tank. Yeah. Let me see. Where's my other? Um, well, maybe they're over here. Yeah, they're over here. Here we go. Can, oh, beautiful. You can slab the other slab. So yeah. So there's the three different types of slabs. Um, can't quite get them on the screen, but do these two. So this one's a little. All three are different. All yeah, three are nice. different. Yeah, they're all three. This is the thinnest, obviously. Um, I don't hate them. I right. don't hate this. Lean. I don't hate the PSA. I really. I thought I would like lean. Need, and yeah, lean. But I love the SGC as well. I love this 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 tuxedo look kind of thing. It looks nice. I'm really digging that one, man. But I like a thick slab, though. I like a nice piece of acrylic kind of looking slab. And uh, I've watched torture tests that do different things. So I definitely the SGC is taller. And thickness wise, I think it's just a little thinner. No, uh, technically, it looks about the same yeah. in person. In person, 
it's close in that Beckett might be slightly thicker. It feels thicker. It feels more solid. If I were being honest. And I've heard that too. So they penny sleeved it too. So they penny sleeved inside there. If you can kind of see that, maybe nice. you can't. In the, I can't see it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think, yeah. And I agree, Jake. I think this black slab is the way to go with chromes. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's... Now these come at different, I think different ratings. Like there is a gold label and stuff and a black label and all that. I think like where I'm at, probably in the silver range guys, just from my grades here. So the higher up you go, if you get like a nine, something nine, five, you it's gold or something, or they have like a 10 pristine or something. I don't know. They have, a, they have a different rating system than these guys. The rating system is really crazy. So they've been criticized for it. All right. Let's see what we got left. Got a few more we can look at. So talking about Marvel cards. Let's see. I think I know what card this is. Let me see if I have a PSA one right here. I think I have a PSA one. Give me a second. It's the same card because I had a few of these and I tried to like, I was trying to, Joe, at the one point, get the same kind of looking card sent across the same card in different places. Toys, huh? Hard to do. Hard to do. Ah, you can send toys for greeting. Wow, I would have never... To Beckett, you can send video game cartridges, VHSs can be sent off, uh, Funkos, some places. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, good. So Big I'll show you. I'll show you. So I have an equivalent PSA card of this. Very cool. I've not All graded right. a single thing. Yeah. So that's nice. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I think the grade's fair. So totally. Yeah. Um. So let's see. Let's see what this one. I think print. it's yeah. It's Psylocke. So this is my Marvel promo, and I have one from PSA as well. So it's an eight. And eight, five. I should, oh, I should have done the thing. I'm sorry. Sorry. Couldn't help it. So I got a higher grade oh. on this one. Huh. Interesting. So I do like this. You see this? It says Marvel 92 Entertainment Masterpieces promos. It says Psylocke Wizard. So that it came in a wizard magazine. So that, I like that level of detail. Okay. A little more information. The corners all look pretty good. The edges are an eight. I couldn't tell if they're an eight. Hey, Trenton. How's it going? Oh, that Wisconsin. Yeah, sure. You want this? You, this is going out to Wisconsin. Sorry about that. You're right. Let me get the shipping address going there. Trenton. No problem. Mistake. Joe, we got to take care of that, man. Take care of him. But anyway, the uh, I looked at the, I looked at these cards pretty tight. I mean, I have several of them. I have a stack of them. And I thought I sent the ones off that were pretty decent. I don't. I don't know. Maybe the edges on the top. Yeah, I can see a little bit of white yep. chipping right here, which is very super common with these cards. Very hard to get like a 10 or a 9 in these. But, it's, it's definitely there. But I was trying to make a set of um of these promos. So I've got I've got these two, and I don't have the Captain America or the Wolverine. I need to get those. So I was trying to make a set of these. I guess I'm going for eights because <laughs> I got two eights there. But that's there fine with me. Yeah. So but, uh, but anyway, that's uh that's what it looks like in uh, in there. I mean, you know, eight five, so two eight fives, you know. All right. It was just an eight five kind of day, I guess. Okay, this one I won't, I won't reveal. It. I'll, I'll try to be slower. Huh. Oh, oh. Well, Trenton, maybe well, you should hold, hold off on which Adam here. You know, this is a this is a trophy tray, but and we talked about this is one of the closest ones we can get to, uh, to Trenton. So, so what do you guys think? This was a a black eye pulled during a live stream here out of uh, probably a blaster, I think. Um. Oh, say so that looks pretty good right there. It looks sharp, man. I but I look, I love these black water cards. I mean, so, so if far, nothing Beckett, on the surface, like scratch wise, I'd say no, 10. I, I this was penny penny loaded and top loaded and sent off pretty, pretty, pretty fresh. Here comes the tens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if it was PSA for me, I had a roll of those things, right? Trenton saying 95. Okay. All right. Yeah, maybe right. just because of that. I can't tell if the top border is a little skinny. Looking in the camera with you, because I'm looking at the camera. I'm not looking at the car. I look at the car myself. I, it, I agree with you. I think that I think that uh, the centering is a little top bottom off. But and Trippy's oh Trippy's getting conservative. He's at the eight now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like I've been burned so many times. I'm not gonna do this anymore. No. <laughs> um, there's some drink here. Um, maybe I don't so. Know. I don't know. What are the, the corners are all good. Yeah, I mean. Corners were solid. This went right into a, a case. All right. We'll see what it is. We'll see what it is. 8-5. Oh, <laughs> it's an 8-5 kind yeah. of day. Well, man. 
five. Hmm. Kind of sucks, man. <laughs> I thought that would be a little better. I thought it would be a nine at least, honestly. Yeah, I think in a PSA. So what I want to do is you tell me in the chat which one of these. I'll send one of these off to PSA to have them re reevaluated. Mm -hmm. So PSA will do a cross grade, and they will give me either a higher grade or they will give me uh, – no, send it back. They won't charge if it's the same matching grade on this. Or I think they'll slab it if I want it in PSA. So I could send this one off to PSA and see what they would say. Um, what say you? I think it's a nine. Even with the border thing, I think it... You know, maybe, so it's saying... So let's look at that. Centering is an eight. So yeah, so they're hitting me on that. Uh, edges are a nine. Surface is a nine. Corners are eight, five. So I don't have the corners are an eight, five. There's a piece of dirt in there on that corner. You guys can see that little white dot? Yeah. That's dirt. That's not a nick. This thing was perfect. I did check this one. So maybe uh, maybe a corner up there. Maybe that corner. And I'm not in person. There might be a little thing on that back corner. So different companies also grade harder on the – some don't care about the back corners as much. Like PSA seems to be a little lenient on some series in the back corner. Beckett might be super anal about it. I don't know. Yeah. Man. I don't know. I don't know. I might send that. Yeah, I would grade it. I, I would AI hey, would grade a nine. <laughs> uh move that one up there. there yeah, you, you know, I thought about doing a whole wave of second second tier sort of grading services. I don't mean that they're lower tier, I just mean like lesser known ones or, or less popular ones that are doing great. You know, you, you grade what you want with whoever you want, but I thought about going a different wave of them, but it gets kind of expensive. It is pretty. These weren't awful. Um, I don't remember if I got a deal on them or not. I think there was a deal going on, but it wasn't super expensive. It wasn't any more than SGC. Okay. Or S SCG. SGC, yeah. Um, and I only did PSA because they were on sale. PSA was cheaper than the rest. All right, final card. Final card. This is that Sapphire card. Right, there you go. Let's see, Trenton saying you got to buy the, the, the card, card cleaner. Wash, right? Where you sent him in? I never used it. <clears throat> Yeah, I've seen some of that stuff using the microfiber and other stuff like that. I mean, like, I do have I do have um, some of these Marvel masterpieces. Like, if you buy them now, they get stuck in the packs, or they're called the bricking in the packs, because they're so old. So yeah. the, the finish gets jacked up, and you can you can buff it. You can buff it out and get them to look I was going to ask, can you, you actually can. do that? Wow. Depends on the finish. Depends on the finish. Depends on the kind of card. If you're... I, It'd be tricky to do some of these. These are harder to pull off. The more modern day cards are very sure. sensitive, some, especially some of the sports cards. Kind of hard to do that, but uh, it's, still, it's possible. These wow. are have a gloss finish on them. You can kind of buff it out. I don't know how. It depends where you send it off. If they're that strict about surface condition, like on that set, right? This set's known for having those chips, like I said, on the back. Like you're, they're always going to look at this marble stuff in the back and see if it's chipping. Uh, but I've got some. I got a whole stack that need to be polished up if I'm going to ever send them in, or whatever. But it's just not that important to me. I've got a few that are pretty good. Gonna happen. Yeah. All right. Final bucket one here. Final bucket. All right. So this is a sapphire. This is one that's. Uh, I think this was my hit, my bigger hit in the sapphire. I thought this would be a cool card to get graded because it, you know, it just the colors matched up with her and the and the golds. I mean, uh, not gold. I wish it was gold. It's a um, yellow. You pulled a gold, didn't you? You pulled I a gold. Pull a gold. Yes. Where is All right. It? All right, everybody. So this is a sapphire. My only sapphire I've had graded here. Sapphire series three, right? I'll call it series three. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's hard to see. It's, it's actually series five, but so you're saying yeah, yellow would be tough to grade. Well, I was thinking since there's no border, you know, there's no border, you can't you can't get me too bad on centering, right? I mean, it's tough to see it. Like I was going to say, you can see it there. Is it pretty centered? It looks like it is. Yeah. Nine, huh? Is it bowed? Is it like warped? <laughs> is it bowed? I don't I don't think that mattered. Um, I was, you know, they all were a little bowed, right? So the right. kind of bowed? They do. They You're right. They kind of all are. You're right. I mean. So um, I don't know. I don't know if that they count off on that. But I mean, I think every Sapphire that would go in for Grady Day, but it's just part of the card, you know. Okay. Trippy saying eight five. Mm. JQ said a nine. Nine. Nine's nine's good. But I mean, if there's nothing wrong with it, ten's good too. 
Ten's good too. I think now, so tens are super rare, super rare with Beckett that I know of. Not okay. bowed now. It's in that slab. That's right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> yeah, you have to send them off. You have to pay money for them. You know, put them in the top yeah. or something. Put them in your own slab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that my final assessment? Right. Put them in your own slab. No, I don't. I don't. I think I have stuff I keep in the slab myself. It's fine. So you're saying what? You're saying a ten wouldn't be bad, but. You... Mm. Tens mega rare. It's got to be a little pop. Why, I mean, if you say tens are rare, then I don't want to like go all the way. So tens are not as Ooh. common in this as they are in uh, PSA. I don't know as much about SGC if they're that common. They seem to be harder to get. They grade pretty hard on certain things. I'm gonna go for the ten. You're gonna say ten, okay? All right, we got a ten. We got an eight, five, and a nine. All right. Uh, it well, was the nine. I'll go for a nine. Always hoping for the 10, yeah. Hey, a nine's pretty yeah. good for them. I think it's a nine five. Me. So their nine five is considered is considered a 10 in PSA. Um, and then their 10 is like a pristine maximum, like like very ultra rare. You know. So a nine, so this is like um it's not bad. It's a true nine. So where did they? What did they mark on there? What? Uh... Okay, so yeah, let's look at that. So centering is a ten. So the centering is a ten on that okay. one. They said the edges were nine five. Okay. Uh... And they said the corners were nine five. Well, well, that's that's still nine five is considered a ten. Centering is a ten, so that's like pristine, pristine. Remember, think yeah. of it like eleven. A, a, a ten's in like an eleven with them. Right. I know. Thank you for making the numbering system so difficult, Beckett. <laughs> no, wonder, no wonder your company's going in the tank, right? Um, <laughs> surface, eight. So that's where they got me was on surface. Surface. So apparently I used sandpaper on the surface before I sent in. I thought it'd be kind of funny. Maybe they thought the broken, shattered background was part of the surface condition. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why surface is an eight. That sucker went right from the pack into the sleeve, right to Beckett. Like it never Are there any, before. like, sometimes there's, like, you know, the light scratches or whatever i didn't like, see any on this one i really looked at this one pretty hard um and i you know in here now i'm gonna look at the person a little bit tighter and i don't see nothing look on the back wow no nah, i mean i no nothing that's reasonable huh nine is still good I it's mean, a good no it's a good grade it's a good grade um, I did it as an experiment. I don't know what it would be worth. Though. Okay. Yeah. It's just going to go in my collection. I'm not going to sell it probably, so let's keep it. I think it's still a cool card. Yeah. So um, anyway, the, but the slabs are nice. I'll give them that. Um, I You don't pay any extra for the extra grading. So if you want this extra grading here on top, of that matters to you or it matters to you know, your collection in some way, if you want that, you don't have to get that. I believe you can turn that off as well, but I don't think I paid a lot extra for it or it was, it was built into the tier that I got for the, I think I was going for the time frame, Joe. I think I was trying to match that 60 day time frame, and this is what was in there. Same as like PSA. Uh, but PSA, you can, you can dial up and change what you want to do. And SGC, they don't charge for certain things. Like they'll, they'll not do subgrades like this, but they'll do, free auto grade so if it's an autograph card for a pack a pack insert autograph card they don't charge you extra for that they just grade it. they grade that too so you get two numbers that's cool so that's nice on them and they're quick yeah. they do a two-week turnaround it really is good so like know, regardless two-week turnaround right on that's, that's not bad you can pay for faster stuff but that's pretty pretty nice um yeah i don't hate these i didn't like the no communication i don't like <clears> they got the cards just told me to screw off for like a long time, a long time, you know. I do feel like I sent them cards I wouldn't be too upset about not getting back for a long time. That's that, that was where I was at with these, you know. Obviously, there was an atom in there, but like it's, I had a few of these. Um, I sent my best one of my best looking ones, I thought. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, why did I send that one with the dot on the front? Like, it was insane, <laughs> you know. But hey, you know, I also sent up that one that was uh trimmed, I thought it came back trimmed, so I mean, I don't know, you know. <laughs> jitters of the first time going around with with grading but um i probably won't use beckett again just because i don't want the subgrades because i feel like if it what if i got a nine? Oh, i did get a nine right now you look at my nine you're like oh well your surface is an eight though 
I don't want that. Right? But what? It's like you now you've got five ways to not like <clears throat> a card, right? You got five ways to be happy or disappointed instead of just one number. Right. If you're if you're playing the numbers game. Man, so yeah, depends, I mean, it you depends why like you're getting this slab, really right? Lean in on it, or yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to. The jury's out. I still want to do a, a recap on all these. Obviously, I'm pretty happy about that guy right there. Um, I'm shocked that came back because they're they're pretty notorious. And this is look, this is Chrome, Chrome Series One. But I mean, like surface it's issues. Hard, no, man. I mean. It's a pack pull, so. And then these, I mean, yeah. These aren't. I, I'm surprised. I do like the PSA more than I thought I would. I'll be honest with you. I think it was the price point too. If you can get them on sale, if fifteen a card is not cheap, but that's probably as cheap as you're going to get them for a, a budget service in bulk. Right. Is that over? Is that that's over right now. They do different ones, uh, different months. I think right now is. <clears throat> you're wrong trading card game cards it might be like pokemon magic that kind of stuff or whatever else um may was star wars so you could send all kinds of star wars cards in which is great that i missed that because i was doing cards before that but i think i got the non-sport so they do a non-sport one so which covers all that right, right so right. they did they did that in february and march so i got two batches of those and those were 15 a card i think 10 card minimum so you're looking at 150 plus some shipping and stuff like that um and I did really well with those marbles. I did a lot of Gym 10 Mints, so I did pretty well with those. So, not this one, but you know. No. But I'm happy. But I'm happy with this one. I don't care. No. Man, that's a cool. Card, man. Yeah, I know it's a cool looking card. So it's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, man. eight five, eight five, eight five, and that nine sapphire in the bottom. So my four little cards. Eight five, eight five. Okay, fine. Nine. God. Not the worst. So, <laughs> you know, if you ask me what, what, if you wanted to grade something, what, which one to go with, it would be like, what kind of card is it? You know, what do you, what do you want to do with it? And I always thought that was a cop out answer when I saw people say that. I did a lot of looking into that. I was like, yeah. well, come on, there's got to be a definitive answer. Like, you know, what do you mean? It depends what you want to do with it. Well, if you're collecting all GPK that was in Beckett, I guess if you want the these to match, you know, I could see yeah. it. Oh wow, yeah. Everyone agree to oh yeah, that would be very cool. Well you've just got to get some jack o' lantern extractors to send them off. Yeah, I don't think I have one an extractor of that one. I should try that experiment. I should try to get one and try to see if we can get one. We'll get we'll get the cleaning kit that Trenton suggested. Because I've seen that before. You get the cleaning kit, we'll run yep. through it. Because obviously the this the quality standards, my my opinion, the quality standards from, from the last two chrome sets. I'm sorry. Chrome 5, maybe Chrome 4 a little bit, and Sapphire 3, they don't seem to be as good as, like, Chrome 1 or 2. Just And, and there's a huge time jump between those two sets, obviously, between those series of sets. But, like, from, from, from like, the surface level and the quality of the card just feels different. Right. And, I mean, from opening the packs, we saw all those lines and roller marks and a lot of debris. Remember yeah. the remember the dust we saw in a lot of those? I mean, that – I just don't – and I don't remember that from – OS one or OS two Chrome. I just don't. Um, I didn't get to open those packs, you know. Yeah, I opened a lot of those when they were out, and I don't remember. I don't remember. I have three. Look, I was so happy to get three because they were so, we wait so long. I don't. I mean, uh, three didn't seem to look as rough to me, but maybe it was. I just don't remember. So, so JQ, so I know you probably checked the price out. To do one card is like it's like twenty five bucks or twenty bucks, something like that. Unless they do a special from SGC, so uh, but they let you they let you track the process, they let you see behind the scenes um, when they get it, what the stage are at. Um, they will let you see the card uh, early if you want to. You can click on it and pull it up uh, after they have it in, in, in house. So, and if it's not gradable, they'll refund your money. So, for Easy whatever reason, cool. so that's pretty nice. So yeah, SGC. I have to admit, I really like SGC. I probably would lean towards them for any kind of personal collection thing. I dig them. But there are so many PSAs out there. Like if you were collecting PSA stuff, I could see where you would fall into just wanting to get PSA for a set or something like that too. Nothing wrong with that. 
Yeah. So yeah, is that? Uh, are you talking about? Trips was saying, is it a human or a robot that cuts the cards? Um, um, I think it's a robot with a with a person checking on it. From my understanding, it's 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 a machine that cuts it, it. but a machine like a machine a sets it and it cuts. Right. But yeah, it's not hand cut or anything like a. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's Grim Jim with the sickle <laughs> just cutting them. But no, it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's, but, it, but it is an operator. I mean, there's a machine operator working it. But you know, look, things happen. Things get offset. Things don't get recalibrated right. Talking about 3D printers, I know about calibrations. I can tell you right now, I've had a, a few few fails over there. But um, I, I think it's a machine and mach machine and human error combined. You know, plus you got to remember, GPK is not their chief product. It's not their top tier product. They're they're putting a lot of resources into getting those sports cards right. Yeah, and they look smooth. And they offer a lot more in those. So, so I get that. Like I understand, right? Yeah, it's a cyborg. Okay, a trippy. It's it's a cyborg. I didn't want to say anything, but it's a cyborg. All right, yeah, a little bit of both. It is. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of b mixed up together. I mean, like fine. You know nine, the truth. The top cyborgs are out there cutting cards and doing a bad job. It's Edward Scissorhands. If you envision that, that's kind of what's going on. Sometimes it used to be I mean, at least for the wax pack. So I said Ed Two Hundred Nine's cousin, and you said Edward Scissorhands. There's two Eds. You know, you know it's true. Yeah. You know? It's true. It's got to be. It's coming out. Now, I could have said, I'm seeing my picture, GPK. Well, we've already done it with scissor hands years ago. We had one, but, but I can see a new one where he's trying to put the cards in the packs so that are just chopped all the pieces. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hilarious? Like if they're trying I to mean, load it in, in Chrome 6, if they had a Chrome 6 card that was like Edward scissor hands trying to chop them into, that'd be hilarious. Fire that guy for sure. He's, fire the guy. Yeah, I mean, they probably will. Probably already have. I don't know. Good, good. Is that it? That's, uh, that's all I got. Dedicated. That's all I got, man. I got one more thing we could open if you want to. We got we got four minutes left. I got one more thing we could we could look at if you want. Sure. Do you have anything? I got this wave six. Let's look at the wave six. I'm sorry, I cut you off on wave six. Like it's, no, 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 no. Oh man. Oh yeah, that's the Superman. Oh no, Homelander. Homelander cut cut himself in half. Yeah. This dude from the boys. Yeah, yeah. Homer got, Lander. Homer Lander. Yeah. Orlander, and then the lady herself. Oh, so she is in wave wave six. That's right. Wave Good. six. And I moved my light up to not have it shining in my face, but now it's all dim. Hey, at least then, you're not. Or at least we're not backwards, are we? Hopefully not. I don't care. Guy. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Dynamite. Yeah, that's a good one. Light. I like how they're going for newer shows and more retro shows too at the same time. Yeah, right. They're doing a good mix. Yeah. And that was something that David had said. David Gerson had said they're trying to the add new and old shows. Yeah, you got to do the Fonz, right? You just have to. Mm. Have they done another Fonz card? It feels like they have. I, I really feel like there is. Because, I mean, yeah. he's not the first one with the thumbs like that. Come on, right? Like. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like there's another one. Was it? Uh, does anybody know? I mean. Was it A and S or it wouldn't be A and S, right? It would be another. I feel like, like it's more recent from the past like five years, but I, I mean, I don't it know. wasn't in the actual other like prime set, was it? I don't think so. I think I don't remember it being in there. That's what I mean. mean. I lightly collected that set. I bought a few and you know, I threw them in a box. Maybe in I, prime time. It may be. Yeah, I have to look. <laughs> so. There's a lot going on with that card. It's a funny concept. Yeah. It's 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 a little busy. <laughs> right. I like it. It yeah. really is. It's real busy. I feel like they reached. It might be brand new series. Yeah. I, I feel like they had to reach on that concept there. I'm trying. Like, where where did the extra appendage come from? Right. That's what. And that's kind of what I mean. Like, <laughs> I guess that's the GPK factor of it. Like, he's got a severed foot stuck in his. You know, he broke up his, You know, he's always saying the phrase right. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> that's good. That's that's awesome. It's like a class photo. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> you're, right the, you're right in the yearbook, man. Right in the yearbook. And that's awesome. it. Awesome. I will get mine tomorrow and sit here by myself and look. No, I'll save them. 
<laughs> if I'm free tomorrow, I might do a stream tomorrow if I have time. I might do a, a quick drawing yeah, stream or something. I might just do one of those. Once okay, I get past BNS, this nightmare. City, trip, BNS, trip says BNS, man. I, I was like, is it ANS or BNS? One of those, maybe? I feel I like don't I remember it in BNS. It might be after BNS, like somewhere in the yearly series or like in the American series. I don't, I don't think so, though. I think maybe I'm having these Greaser Greg sort of like 2013, 2014. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels like they would have done that already. I'm going to have to like comb through images to find that. It's a Mandela effect, right? It's like it doesn't really exist what we think it does. <laughs> oh, man. Don't get me started on that. Oh, it happens so often now. Now, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I sent you a picture I got. When well, I was on vacation, I sent you a picture. I found them. Um, I'll grab them real fast. It was one of my buttons. Hold on. I found something in the store. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yes. You grabbed some of them. I grabbed one of these. Now, I yeah, know these are these are anything special. We all have seen them. They're the, the series one vinyl figures. Just lost my nice. Yeah, I didn't and know I if you picked any up, but yeah, I got one. Um, and I didn't show you anything. I got one of the Series 1 plushy uh, keychain things, too, which I know were everywhere. I just never got any of them. I found one in a uh, in a food city. Um, That's cool. Yeah, it was a food city. I was in Tennessee. So but uh, so I grabbed one. And I've been debating whether to open this thing or leave it sealed. I don't have a sealed one. And I have the whole set. So Nice. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I found, I found this like in a little like collectible shop in, uh, in Pigeon Forge. They had this bunch of stuff all kinds of character stuff whatever you can imagine and they had a, a row of different stuff and they had tons of these i think i showed you the picture there was like just yeah. a full box like, like a no one had touched them. of them yeah so you said you have the whole set of those already i do have the set yeah i was able to to score this set off of a collector years ago who's um, in canada awesome. they, they sold them all for like i got them for a steal it was insanely yeah. cheap they uh they look real nice yeah, I love the box. I love the classic box. I mean, I do. But they, they're a great looking set. You know, I mean, look, I have. Well, let's see. This one. It's not like this little guy right here. Oh, I can't. But I can't even. Oh, well, of course, they're on the back too, right? <laughs> oh, check it out. Nice. Wow. Keep losing my mic here. So yeah, on the back. I keep thinking they did a series two as well. They did a series two in blue box, right? They did one of those as well. I have one of those, I think. That's cool. Check them out. Yeah. I don't think there's any chase series. any chase ones on this one. It just was like uh basics. I only have one of the atom bombs. I have a few of the dupes of the other ones. I, that was a hard one to find. I uh, bet. Yeah. But yeah, so these are the ones they used on all the uh all the animation stuff. Thunder That's Road, really, right? Yeah, see, they're, I really liked those guys. They look I nice. love the style of these, and I'm not like I don't overly love Funkos. I mean, they're okay sometimes, but like really? I really dig these, though. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I know my little toys here, but anyway, I just thought it was kind of cool that I could find in you know 2023. I could find a yeah, uh, yeah, that's awesome. So, a box of those. I couldn't believe you. you sent me that picture, and I was like, Where in the world? Like, what time are you? Do you time travel? No, no, I... that's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. If you've got the whole set, there's really no point in opening it. Except no, reason to, to, no reason to open it. Maybe we can do something later on with it. Did you have a sealed, did you have a sealed box collection of these too, don't you? Or do you? I don't have any of those at all. Oh, uh oh, uh -oh. Mm -hmm. but. I do have a dupe set of the ones that were recently out. Like, you know, the, the Joe Blow, Geeky Gary, Roy Bot, Haggy Man. Yeah, Bang. yeah, the, fig, the the Walmart ones, right? The, I'll call yeah, them Walmart right. figures. I'm sure they were other places. Yeah, I got the, I remember I got the Roy Bot one. You know, I got a Blow Joe one. You know, and then some of the Tops uh, release ones I have dupes yeah. of like a lot of dupes of the tops ones you're man. talking about this set here which i got one out here this rod yeah. rod that's the one i could get i probably would have got a, a joe blow if I could have. Dude, and cool. then uh and these funkos came out a little back what's up salad hey sal boy yeah better late than ever we're about to pop hop off here in a sec but uh thanks for for popping in you can always re-watch the stream later it's fine see uh all my tens i got tonight 
Grace. <laughs> this is um, this is the, this is the gold version. This is the Japanese one, the Japanese Comic Con, Tokyo Comic Con. Yeah, that gold bomb is crazy. And it's got like a silver kind of like I'm sorry, it's got like a gold. Uh, let me get it in a minute. Metallic blue flake on the, the jacket. Yeah. That's cool. Kind of pricey now. They weren't too bad when I bought this. It was pretty reasonable, pretty normal. But uh, yeah, hey. Bobby wants this one. He's not getting it. You can't, <laughs> have it. you can't have it, Bobby, for watching. Hope you feel better. <laughs> I saw Bobby wasn't feeling well, so that's too Hope bad. He's doing better. Yeah, we're both pretty busy guys right now. So, <laughs> so matter having Chad GT. All right, Joe. Thank you for for joining in with me, man. I appreciate you sharing the waves. Riding yes. the waves, wave three, four, waves. five, and six, and I've, I'll get my six tomorrow, and we'll, maybe we'll show them off some of the time. See what, see what CPI got at least. But thanks everybody for checking out uh, our little venture here with the graded cards. I'll probably do a recap video later on about some of these. I get some time. We, we forced, we forced them out of the eight point five, and we're into the nines. So overall, Whoa. you know, I did, I did the best. With PSA, I only I can't say SGC because I only had two cards graded with them, and I got a ten and, and I got a authenticated, which I actually, and then I got one that wasn't graded because it was a sketch card and they don't do sketch cards. Right. But uh, but I I'm happy with SGC and I'm happy with PSA. I think they're both very good companies for different things. Um, PSA has had their trouble in the past, but when they have a sale, it's kind of hard to to re, to re, not not do those if you if you want something graded. But then again, you don't need everything graded, so. Right. Yeah. Kind of over it, man. I might do something later on. We'll see. Something special. I gotta send that gum off. I'm still gonna send the gum off. Everyone said send the gum off to the PSA. I'm gonna do it. I haven't, but I will. <laughs> I will. Well. Trippy says that makes me want to paint one. Ah, oh, you want to paint one of the Funkos? Yeah, you can still find fingers. them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They even make Funkos. <clears throat> I got some over here that are um, they're not painted. You can get your own, and you can use modeling stuff. So my thought was, you know, Bobby's like super mad scientist, good at doing figurines and sculpting. Exactly you know, that. obviously, right? Well, right. You, I do have some of the same stuff. I just never got around to really playing with it that much. And I have Funkos that you can add stuff to. It's Mr. Potato Head, okay? That's what I'm doing, all right, with the Funko. And then, you know, trying to make my own custom character. And then somehow, like, cook the parts, like, and then stick them on the thing. I don't know. It was going to be a fire in the house, so we decided not to do that. I have a special little toaster oven I bought at a yard sale just for this. That's why I nice. laughed at Bobby for cooking it in his oven. Because <laughs> uh, my wife would kill me if I put those in the oven. So, And rightfully so. She should. She should. She should murder me. Um, yeah, all right, yeah. guys. Well, we'll talk to you next Sunday. I guess we'll be here. I got some, maybe some stuff we'll talk about that new pop up book coming out in the fall. I wanted to talk about Ooh. that at some point. And uh, just so there's new cool posters that were coming out from uh, is it Toy Box? Is that right? Yep. Or, Toy Box, but Justin Co is making from Atomic Atomic Atomic, Atomic Toy Box, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love this. I hate that they don't sell them on their site. <laughs> I hate that. They don't sell them on the site because they didn't last time. I don't, they're they're the San Diego Comic Con. They're just nope. the show. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they only make one fifty of each one, so they do look cool. Yeah. Oh well, it's very nice. But uh, yeah, we'll talk more about this. We we'll get more information about that coming up and all that. So, Joe, thanks for tuning yeah. in, man. We'll get together this weekend and work out some of our projects as well. I'll have some time after tonight, so we'll. Uh, We'll get going this week, man. Right have on, a good one. Everyone in the chat, thanks again. Thanks, JQ, Trippy, Sal Boy, Patrick, everybody else. Uh, Trenton, thanks for joining in. And also, Adam, thanks for popping in, saying hello. Appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys. Have a great one. Later, have guys. Have a wonderful week. Later.